Let's look at the present perfect tense in the passive voice. It's important to consider the subject because that will change the auxiliary verb has or have, depending on the subject. He, she, it has. I have, you have, we, ha we have, they have. Then, been. Then, the past participle. In this example, we're using the verb hurt. In the simple form, hurt, past tense, hurt, the past participle is hurt. It doesn't change. So the past participle is used there. I have been hurt. You have been hurt. He, she, it has been hurt. The plural of you and I is we. We have been hurt. The plural of you is you. You have been hurt. And the plural for he, she, and it is they. They have been hurt. Of course, we would usually use the contraction for all of these. They've been hurt. I've been hurt. You've been hurt. He's been hurt. She's been hurt. It's been hurt. To make the negative, you put not after the verb have. I have not been hurt. You have not been hurt. Or you can say you haven't been hurt. He hasn't been hurt. We can use the contraction, hasn't. And here are some more examples. You've been given enough time to finish your work. You haven't been given enough time to finish your work. The story has been forgotten. The story hasn't been forgotten. This country has been led by great leaders in the past. This country hasn't been led very well recently. The buildings have been built to last a long time. The buildings haven't been built cheaply.